I'm WebSoak, and I'm building the entire New York City subway in Minecraft. Today, we have our first multi-station complex, the westernmost 14th Street complex. We find ourselves at the tail end of 8th Avenue, conveniently nestled between Chelsea and the West Village. It allows riders a convenient connection between the IND 8th Avenue lines and the BMT Canarsie line. Manhattan features three major 14th Street subway station complexes, one on 8th Avenue, another spanning 7th and 6th Avenues, and a third at Union Square. During this video, unless otherwise stated, all references of 14th Street will be of the complex at 8th Avenue. The station ranks as the 18th most used station in the subway system. Although it would not be immediately obvious based off of it being the deeper platform, the Canarsie Lines platform, better known as the L-Line, was the first of the two areas to open. Back in the 1990s, the Canarsie Line terminated at 6th Avenue. However, the city was not willing to take this L. A final BMT extension of the line would be funded. On May 30th, 1931, a new station would open off of the Canarsie Line and 8th Avenue and 14th Street. The IND's 8th Avenue line wouldn't open until September of 1932. So this raises the question, why didn't part of the mezzanine have the expected BMT tile work present at most of its subway stations? There is evidence to suggest that the BMT may have been powerless in the construction of the Canarsie Line's westernmost terminal. The most obvious evidence of this was staring New Yorkers in the face for the better half of the 20th century. Though long gone, the Canarsie Line's platform originally featured wall tiling easily associable with the IND's branding. The current dual contracts era look of the lower level is a front of what was once an IND style band of blue tiles. In the 1990s, a renovation of the platform gave it the old dual contracts mosaic style. Though the job was quite convincing, the original IND theme of the platform is still evident by the floor pattern matching the one present in the traditional IND wing of the station. Despite the former, it would be quite difficult for your average commuter or even enthusiast to catch this front the different types of floor tiling are by no means alien to the BMT after all. Now to the topic of crashes. On April 18th of 2004, an L train collided with a bumper when its operator suffered a seizure, causing the train to overshoot the station and hit the bumper blocks at the lower level. Transitioning to the upper level, we find another 21st century accident. In 2020, an R46A train derailed, derailed? No, it, it derailed and had its cheeks sheared off by the pillars, walking dead zombie style after a homeless man clamped wooden planks onto the tracks. Three people were injured in the derailment. Fortunately, all of the victims survived. Opening September 10th, 1932, as part of the city's biggest spite project. I mean, as part of the independent subway system. Also known as the IND, the upper level was opened as part of the IND's initial subway system. Officially the IND 8th Avenue line. The 8th Avenue line spans from High Street up to 207th Street. Yes, the section of the line interlined with the B and D lines is called the 8th Avenue line. Not the Central Park West line. The Central Park West line isn't real, something quite evident by the tile work that can be found at the 155th Street station and the IND Concourse line. The IND 8th Avenue line's wing of the complex is a quad track express station, meaning local trains like the CND stop on the outer tracks, while express stations like the A stop on the middle tracks. This type of service pattern is mostly found in the New York City subway and is a result of closed station spacing. Something else of interest, prior to the 1990s renovation, the IND and BMT stations did not feature an in-system transfer. Instead, 
In classic BMT fashion, and despite being in connected mezzanines, New Yorkers couldn't actually transfer between the L line and the ACE lines without dipping into more tokens. I suppose this may not have been uncommon at the time and may be related to some passengers finding loopholes to avoid putting in more tokens. Of course, that is no excuse not to pay your fare. And now that we've covered the station's history, let's tour it in Minecraft. All right, boys, here we are in game. You can see I did get the WebSoak account back. So uh, we're finally going to tour this thing. It's been about three months. And uh, I want to have a look at this thing. So uh, here we are in 8th Avenue and uh, 16th Street. So we're going to start from the northern end of the station and uh, make our way down town to the Canarsie platform at uh, 14th Street. So way down there. I ignore that whole little little thing over there. I've got some stuff over there and it's, it's keeping it safe from the rain. So uh, 14th Street, A-C-E-L. Let's have a little gander down here and uh, you can see I have the brightness up much higher this time because people were uh, requesting that I did have a uh, brighter setting during the videos because people said that it was too dark and uh, I agree with the tunnels being too dark as well. So uh, unfortunately it does apply universally. So that means that the stations will be much brighter during the video. So you've got another uh, exit right here, and then if we cross the street, we have another... Oh, GG. <laughs> uh, are they all? No, it's just that one. All right. All right. That kind of sucks, Mr. Lampost. What, what the hell happened to you? You just, like, get your little leg ripped off or something? So just fix that. We, this is New York. We don't rip people's legs off around here, you know? We, uh... We do it the old-fashioned way, you know? We don't... We don't, uh... You know? We do it this way. We don't... We don't, uh... Rip people's legs off. And, uh, yeah, so there's the Metro card machines over there. Uh, interesting thing I found out about those. They're going. Yeah, they're gonna go. This is, uh... 2022 is the end of them. They apparently want to replace them all with Omni. And, uh, I don't know how that's going to work. I guess GG. I guess GG uh, Metro card machines, so it's been fun, but that's going to be one less thing I can add to the stations, which kind of sucks, but oh well, they had a fun run. So uh, ACEE -E, downtown in Brooklyn, and uh, let's sit down here, and uh, here we are at the platform. I have an R32A train just sitting there for the video. This is a bit of platform tapering over here. If you do them the old-fashioned way, like this... Ooh, I just got an achievement. New recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. Yeah, whatever. So if you do it like this, then these trains clip the block like this, and you're having some problems. So let's not. Uh, let's just... And uh, I guess this is your ideal New York City subway system, right? This is the clean version. But in real life, you're going to have trash everywhere. Do I have route signs here? No, I didn't. So sometimes I don't put them if uh, we're getting lag. <laughs> and look at that. That's not too hot. 30 and 15. Uh, so the range of FPS seems to be 30. It looks like it was 40 to uh, 15. And that's not too hot. So uh, let's just add it back up here because there are some exits over there. And uh, you do have this thing. This uh, was there in real life as well. Um, I'll show you guys a clip of this in the video, uh, somewhere. I'll just, I'll just put it in somewhere. Y'all yeah, just make it happen. So, uh, over here we have an A train just sitting here. It's an R32. I have the, uh, stop signs here as well. So, uh, they're right here. So, uh, eight. So that's for a C train because the C train is eight cars and ten. So that would be for an E train because the E train is ten cars. And, uh, oh, uh, just... Probably would have just died there because I just stepped on the third rail. So don't go into the tunnels. Don't go into the tunnels, boys, because I just stepped on the third rail and I would have just died. So uh, let's check out these exits right here. There should be some. At, uh, oh, okay, that's the 16th Street one. So let's head over here and uh, we have some more exits over here. 15th Street east side of 8th Avenue. And uh, that way for the L train. And. Uh, that over Ooh, what happened over here that's not fun so uh let's head out here and we have an exit here so uh entry a c e l and head up here and exit right there 
14th Street Station, A-C-E-L. And uh, you have the signs there. Um, so yeah, this uh, complex did actually take me quite a bit of time to build. I mean, I made the uh, What Comes Next short three months ago. So uh, exit 14th Street and 8th Avenue. So here we have like the cooler exit. So this one is uh, weird. So this was the one that was linked up when they actually connected the IND to the BMT. So that's why it's weird like this. So I'm guessing this was the original uh, IND exit area. So it was probably just like this. And this must have been how you got out if you were uh, on the A. And this was probably part of the Canarsie line. So that probably, probably, because I'm not quite sure on the exact arrangement of the original exits, but this does not look like it was part of this pre-merge. This was probably its own thing. And uh, yeah, so let's head over to this thing because this is kind of cool. So that's an entry to the L and uh, we'll check out the L in just a second. So we have this exit right here. And uh, here we are. This is where the topography drops off. So where I think it was 11 feet above sea level. So this uh, rounds up to the nearest third foot. So three, six, nine, twelve. So I think it was eleven over here, but uh, this is sea level because I haven't raised the land here. I have to manually raise the land, and uh, this uh, elevation of the station. So that's a pretty interesting thing right there. So yeah, that's an exit only. All right, there. That's why it is red with the little cross through it like that, or the, the little cross, like the little slash, the little the little pokeball that's why it's a pokeball man because it's uh exit only so uh, if it's exit only it means they have pokemon Bruh. wait 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 I, I didn't mean to say pokemon i meant to say pokemon okay i was thinking two separate things you know i was thinking pokemon pokemon which one is it i haven't said it in quite a while right so i was thinking which one is it i said pokemon all right i'm not a boomer i'm gen z just like you i'm not a boomer okay it's pokemon yeah i used to play it all right, so uh, let's head down here so we can uh, take the ramp or we can literally just jump down there. What will I die if I jump down there? I'm curious. I'm curious. I have to. I have to. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We survived that. So uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, L. And uh, yeah, there's this elevator over here. This one does not work. Like... Okay, the doors don't work either. So uh, yeah, that elevator does not actually move. But uh, here we are then at the Canarsie Line platform. I like this one a lot because of this. I love the BMT mosaics. And there is an L train sitting here. It's a slant because I don't have NTTs uh, for the B division. I do have the R142As for the A division, but those aren't done yet. So... Yeah, there's the... What happens? Can I break this? Okay, I'm not going to try because those are kind of annoying to place. So uh, 14th Street, Manhattan, Rockaway Park, Rake and Arts. So yeah, there's an L train there and it is a slant. Of course, you can just walk inside. Walk inside the slant. And uh, we have this right there. And uh, the bumper. I need to make uh, more bumper variations because this one is not accurate to... Uh, the type of bumpers they have here and you have the stop sign there uh interesting thing if you didn't know this the uh canarsie line uh the entire eastern division which is the j l and z trains they actually use eight car train that's uh because these stations were never lengthened so these were built to uh eight car standard see right here see this is a, an eight car train. You can, here I'll zoom in if you want to count the cars. It is eight. And there is a layup track over there. And let's go back into creative mode. So there's a layup track over here. And uh, yeah, so there's the tunnel. So there's also this area. So I hope you didn't click off because there's this as well. This was uh, fun to build. And we can go up here and the exit. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed, then subscribe. 
and uh, leave a super thanks if you really enjoyed it. I'm Webso. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.